I had to develop a circuit in which a pump immersed in water had to pump out for a certain time the water. So here's the pump, here's the hose out and this is the electronic circuit that I finally made. I hope it's visible from this distance. This pump can uh, pump out between 30 seconds and 3 minutes approximately. And the whole circuit is quite simple, though you have to connect the relays in a proper way. So let's demonstrate it. Here is the main transformer that supplies it all. It supplies both the pump and the electronics. And the electronics are here. Um, this transformer is quite a bad transformer. It can deliver approximately 3 amps amperes, but it cannot work for a very long time on the main supply and the reason is that the core gets far too hot. That's also the reason uh, that I made the circuit in this way. Both environmental, uh, no power necessary when the circuit doesn't work and also uh, this problem that this transformer gets far too hot. You see the main switch, that's a button switch, that's here. And when I push the button switch the whole circuit is activated. I push the button switch, I add voltage to the timer, the timer is here, consisting of a BD139 and a relay. Also another relay is activated here and there is a kind of moment, a short moment, a uh, kind of time delay that gives enough uh, time to charge the cap and this is the timing capacitor. Uh, so when the whole circuit is activated this switch opens and this switch closes and here we have the pump and I have um, mimicked the pump by a 20 volt, uh, sorry a 20 watt um, lamp. Takes approximately 2 ampere or so. The timing cap is very important, the quality is very important because when the quality is not good enough uh, the timing is also not good enough, but let's demonstrate it. I push the button now and the lamp lights up. I took here as, a ti as the timing cap a 10 microfarad capacitor. So let's wait and see till it switches off after approximately 30 seconds. With other caps, by the way, the timer is uh, the timing is longer. I push the button again, and um, so the this is important: the quality from the timing capacitor. I have to say that um, also um, there is a kind of way. Uh, when you push this button somewhat too long, perhaps also the timer, um, the timing is not very, very, secu very secure, very precise. But for all normal purposes, for instance, to pump water out for one minute or two minutes or three minutes, the timing is, um, in my opinion, precise enough. This is the uh, the Darlington, the BD139 with the small BC547B here. And um, that's in fact all what it is. 
very simple circuit. You need a good bridge rectifier. It has to handle approximately 3 ampere. I've um, uh, uh, cooled it here. It's a piece of copper, copper plate. Um, fuses are important in the primary lead here and in the secondary lead. The uh, relay has a DC resistance from uh, 260 ohms, that's quite high, but I think also other relays for 12 volt, they are normally approximately 130 ohms or so, uh, will, work, will work good. Most important thing here is uh, this activation process. Push the button, the whole circuit gets uh, voltage, and then after say um, 30 seconds up to 3 minutes the circuit switches off, and then there is no power um, taken out of the mains, out of the grid. So that's in my opinion an ideal situation. Especially when such a transformer cannot handle um, being connected to the grid for a very long time. Surely when it's connected to the grid for a long time the internal temperature switch will burn out.